please enjoy, Lady Goddess of the Land. All filth is to be purged to keep evil spirits at bay. Then wipe the Hall of Worship with a damp cloth. You are the only one who can protect this place, Lady Nanami. He was originally a wild fox, but was brought on to serve and guard in place of a lion dog. What you heard was the prayer inside the heart of the worshiper. We must move on to your next duty. The world over yonder. It is the duty of the familiar to look after the god. He has been by your side for some time now. Well, I shall have a taste and see. Yes, this is very delicious. Water, delicious water. If you could only be one thing, would you be people or wolves? Maybe we should move. I want you to have that choice. The two of you being wolf children is our little secret, okay? If you turn into wolves around people, it'll surprise them too much. No matter what, you need to be sure never to do that. And one more thing. If you meet animals out in the woods, make sure you're not bossy to them. Because Daddy would want you to be nice. So, what do you say? I know how little I care about that. Now go and get the girl. I know. Mr. Teleporter is pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah, this bad boy is like a flashlight, except anything its beam shines on gets teleported somewhere. You may thank me. With this, we'll do things. And then some more things and other stuff will happen. Well, this is something different. I'm gonna be straight with you, kid. You've gotta eat sunny-side-up eggs with Tabasco. That's just the way it is. When you get home, you need to smack your parents. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. We're BFFs. Uh, I'm out. Uh, Mr. Box Kitty, would you mind removing mine, please? There's still so much I want to see in life. Please let me live. Oh, that jump was pretty slick. You, sir, are a total monster. Come on, it's not like they lock you up in the prison's lowest cells for nothing. Honestly, I'm not really at liberty to disclose any of the details, but I can assure you that it was just as bad as attacking the Sheen content. In that case, seems a criminal of my stature should take the royal suite. <laughs> the big score? If that's not worth a billion, I don't know what is. Don't you worry about the others, bro. I can keep them wrangled for you. Hoping y'all don't die. The air on this planet is as putridly polluted as ever. And the gravity is killing me. I'm gonna need a massage when I get off of this rock. No, it's not. But neither am I. And stop calling me that. Do you still waste your time worrying about being normal? You'll never make anything of yourself if you can't learn to let that go. Yeah? You wanna go? Bring it, you flaming sack of bones! You won't be so lucky next time! Oh, quit your whining! He comes with me. It's the only way I can make sure he won't interfere again! All right, boys, you know what to do. Let's get a souvenir. They aren't gonna like this. A solid giggle should do the trick. Let's use all the colors. Too tall. Much too tall. Ah! I could go for a twirl. Let's put on our thinking caps. <laughs> Never look a tulip in the eye. That squirrel looks familiar. Fuzzy! Cuddly incoming! Vroom vroom! Come on, you! Let's dance! Let's go around again! This makes a whole lot of children we've saved, Miria. Yeah! According to the British Sun, or Nature, whichever it was, conversation is almost completely disappearing from families because of microwaves from cell phones. Children just play video games, husbands are cheating on their wives, and mothers are going off to work. Yeah, and we're going to do our best to put a stop to it. I don't know why on earth this has happened to us! But does this mean that we are constantly being born anew? Little mama, we've got to celebrate! Let's call everyone over and have a party! <laughs> it seems you don't know who you're dealing with. Don't just stand there, fight. I can take you on. <laughs> I could beat you with one hand tied behind my back. Hmm, that was rather fun. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Hmm, you've improved a bit. This form should suffice. My beauty makes me the one true candidate for Emperor of the Universe. <laughs> Not even a match for me. <laughs> At this rate, I don't even have to show you my real power. Not bad. You're not alone. This is the first time any of us have tried to get together outside of work. It's a good opportunity. We can get to know each other a lot better. Let's all have fun! Most importantly, let's enjoy! Mr. Wilde, why don't we start by reintroducing ourselves? What the heck is going on here, Mr. Wild? Just a minute, everyone. I don't understand what's going on. What the heck is this all about? I still have to finish the rehab for my legs, so I can't really do anything until I can walk again. Plus, everyone's still wondering how my hand healed as fast as it did. They're concerned about it. The doctors want to run some more tests on it to find out why that is. No, 
I feel so good, it's scary. I was thinking about it and the accident almost seems like a bad dream now. It's weird. I wonder what I'm even doing in this bed. The other day, I said some awful things. I was really upset and it was wrong. I guess this still feels like a dream. Well, yeah, I know, but I just... I want to be the one to find it by myself. Hey! Egg! I know you're here! Oh, it's here all right, and we're getting really close now. I can't feel it. What's wrong? You afraid? All right, all right, I got it. Here goes! I'm gonna burst! Yeah! Let's go get some eggs! Now, come on, let's go. This is no time to stand around shaking in our boots. Who needs intelligence? I'm super strong! You didn't stand a chance against my metal. Watch out! A match of hard heads! It won't take it easy! Come on, let's break something! How about we see how tough those arms of yours really are? Come at me! Don't hold back! My body's invulnerable! You're gonna regret underestimating me, big guy. And with your bare hands, you don't stand a chance! I can't wait to take you down. Every girl wants a bad boyfriend, but he'd never be as bad as mine! Cold-blooded, ruthless, ay ay ay! He's never felt sorry for anything ever! But guess what happened? One lousy day, he stumbled into my life out of nowhere! The hunkiest dreamboat ever! That was like so amazingly the best luck of all time! <laughs> the ideal personality and your perfect face to die for it! <laughs> Not at all! I mashed them up. I took the looks and the brains and made them the same person. Isn't that amazing? You've changed. Have you found the strength you sought? I see you are determined if nothing else. <sighs> The one who you're trying to save gave away his humanity to enter another world. He was consumed by the knowledge he sought. What a fool. You still pursue him even though you know his fate. <laughs> Perhaps you are more like him than you realize. Why the frightened face, child? Oh well, there is nothing pressing at the moment. I will spare a moment to play with you. You have entertained me. I hope your wish comes true. It is time to- oh. So you're the newbie that shot down Shinya with the paralyzer last night. <laughs> well, you're a lot cuter than I expected you to be. Can you believe the government's got me delegating employee health care out of the analysis lab just because I've got a physician's license? I mean, yeah, sure, I'm also a latent criminal. But it's not like that gives them the right to treat me like a freaking slave while I'm down here. You must be on the fast track if you're already an inspector. I brought a friend over to visit. This is Elderly. He's a great fisherman. It won't be easy. The legend says it lives someplace real deep beneath the surface and doesn't ever take any bait at all. There's more, though. It doesn't happen often, not at all. But when there's a blue moon, the Munagi will actually swim up to the surface. That's what the legend says, anyway. And it goes back for, like, ever. Elderly's hunted the Munagi for a long time, too. Esme wants to grow up and be as good a fisherman as Elderly someday. <laughs> I don't care for this one bit, Chrome. Is this really how you young'uns ask for favors these days? And I'm definitely not interested in being a part of whatever black arts you're doing here. I tell you, I really did go all out when I made that old beauty. Gosh, that does take me back. Yeah, I sure did. And you had the nerve to pull the planks out. So you can count me out of whatever bogus sorcery you- Ooh, Wait, what is this see-through stonework you've got? I can't take it anymore! Boy, you got me real good, damn it! So you say we met yesterday and I offered to let you stay here, with me. And you're for sure positive that's what I said? The world's dangerous enough without your help. I'm just saying it would be a relief to know you're here keeping the house safe for me. Good maids don't talk that way! No threatening me! On top of that, what's with your so-called maid uniform? It's pretty disrespectful to maid them, if you ask me. I'm not used to being wanted or even thought that much about. Oh my god, you're so squishy! Oh, relax. I can't remember the last time someone gave me such a thrashing. Totes invigorating. We don't need you anymore, garbage tier anime. You're dead to me! Ah, look at him tremble! He's gonna burst a blood vessel because I dissed his wife! Yes. Anyway, so, like, say... <laughs> Watch the butt hurt blossom. Wow, if I were a gigantic weeb, I'd probably be impressed by you. Oh, 
Duh, dangerously kick-ass, dangerously gorgeous. Yeah, I'm such a big fan. Ugh, they're hopeless. Not like you, Nami Swan! And here's your orange special. I don't yet, but it's on the way! You can shut up and fix your own damn dessert if you want it so bad! You got it?! I was born to serve the ladies, not you! The ladies are in trouble, you damn fool, so how about you show a little common decency for once? <laughs> Each fleeting moment more lovely than the last! <sighs> My love is perfectly innocent, okay? And by the way, if you'd been turned into a kid, I'd just step on your ugly green head! Death comes by night. You're all mine! Nighty-night! Good night! Time to hunt. <laughs> I've cheated death before. Lords of the Underworld, we meet again. I return to the night sky! When darkness falls, you won't be safe! I see your weaknesses clearly! Even in the dark of night. When the world closes in on you, I will be there. And you will know fear. <laughs> you guys are so gullible. Oh, they just heard me rattling on about how mankind's future lay beyond the walls. I doubt they understood half of it, but still. The walls are a powerful idea. We've survived for a hundred years because of them. No one's keen on tempting fate. I may not agree with that sentiment, but I can see where they're coming from. Glad I caught you. Here, Grandpa scrounged a little extra by telling the powers of be he had kids. He didn't mean it. He's just hungry. We all get that way, speak our minds out of turn sometimes. Forgive him. I beg you. Hey now, you're not serious. That's your stomach talk. In fact, that's exactly right. But honestly, a speech as fun as that is going to be a tough act to follow. Besides, this should be heard by more than just the warriors who are present at the moment. Go get your beauty sleep. It's about time you were on your way, my beautiful daughters. Nothing, just wishing you well. As always, take care of yourself, Claudia. Oh, and remember this one thing. For you, my daughter, Valhalla's gate is always open. It's God. This is our second meeting. Or rather, a second coming.